Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to copy specific files or all files from a source folder to a destination folder using VBA. We will also learn how to avoid some pitfalls during programming. So let's go to the developer tab. Click on Visual Basic. Insert module now here we will start with our subroutine or macro name so sub copy specific files I'm keeping the name all lowercase copy specific files in folder now once I press enter you see you get the parenthesis here and the end sub today we will use the FSO object the file system object and you will see how elegant this method is to copy files, to open files, to delete files and so on. In fact you can use the FSO method to iterate through files. So you will write here dim FSO as object dim source path A string that will give us our source folder where it is located dim destination path a string that will be our destination folders area on the hard disk then we will define a file extension so dim file extension as string now we will first define our source path so source path will be assigned the value the hard disk c in quotes the source folder let's say excel training videos close close destination path will be assigned the value in quotes the hard disk or whatever you have maybe you have it as D so users here and let us put a folder test 100 backslash and quotes close now these are my source folders and destination folders you will have your own so you have to define them accordingly we will now write a file extension and we will say this can be in quotes star dot xl star so we are using wildcard characters to tell VBA that we want all the excel files what if you wanted all the files then it would be star dot star what if you wanted all the text files then it would be star dot txt okay now you might have noticed in the source path I didn't give the backslash here but here I give the backslash now this is a cause for a lot of grief while programming and that is why I have done it knowingly like this because I am going to write some code that will help you to avoid this grief if you forget the backslash. So we will say if write so we are using the text functions source path what 
one that is the last character if that is not equal to in quotes backslash then your code should do something it should convert your source path into source path and that is the ampers ran that is going to add the backslash and end if okay we will now use an instant of fso by doing a set so fso set fso assign it the value create object this is what we do many times when we use an object so scripting dot file system object and quotes close parenthesis close so we have created an instance of the file system object and we can use it now to manipulate different things like copying files so first we will check whether the folder exists so if fso dot folder exists see you can find that using folder exists source path if that is false then we give out a message box source path and doesn't or does not exist see we can write a path for a folder and that doesn't exist so the user should know that he has made a mistake and then we will exit this up and end if because we started with an if similarly we check whether the destination folder or path exists so if fso dot folder exists destination path parenthesis close now if that is false then we give out a message so i'll stagger this a little bit just to show you how you can write your code in different ways some people like this a lot so message box source path Ampers ran does not exist. Made some mistake. Oops. So exit sub. Today I have so much traffic around my house, so the recording is becoming difficult because many people are blowing the horns and making noises but i hope this will turn out fine i'll have to do a little more editing that's all so you see now we have made sure that the destination path also exists now what do we do and you will see how powerful this is so we will just write fso dot copy file our source So source path and here we will write our file extension we add it to it and ampersand then comma destination will be assigned the value destination path and once the files are copied we would like to tell the user what has happened so we will say message box your files 
have been copied from space and the quotes closed ampersand, ampersand and source path so this is where it will go from source path ampersand to and ampersand destination path so you see I'm writing this in lowercase but everything becomes proper because we have defined these variables here in this manner P is capital in the source path destination therefore even if you type in lowercase VBA automatically corrects that then we have the end sub okay now before I run this code I would like to show you both these source folder and the destination folder okay so here's my source folder Excel training videos it has 638 different items so I can just click inside it go here and search for this so it will tell me it has 260 items which inclu includes the all the excel files x l s m excel sx excel tp and so on okay now i'll open the destination folder so here's my test 100 destination folder and you see there are no files in it so i'm going to close this now and we will run this code i have corrected this also there was an error here i had just written object without the b so i've corrected that and let's run this now and there you see you get a message your files have been copied from source folder to destination folder okay we can have a look at our destination folder now so we are back here and you can see that 242 items have been copied from the excel training videos into our test 100 folder but let's go back and see how many files we had in the excel training videos and there you see we have 260 items okay some of these may also come from subfolders not the excel training videos but also from the subfolders that exist in excel training videos so getting data from the subfolders is another subject but using fso we can iterate through folders and subfolders and get all the files i hope you found this useful Thanks for watching.